The monster snowpack in northern New Mexico is starting to melt and combined with this week's heavy rain, it is already flooding a park near Albuquerque and its trails will be closed for months. News 13's Brittany Bade shows you. It is never flooded this severely. We just hope that it doesn't break over the levee. This early. On Monday, all of this was dry and the trails were open, but when the rain came in on Tuesday, it washed out the trails and pushed the river's edge up about 200 yards. The view of the Rio Grande and Los Lunas from Sky News 13 shows the river spilling into a popular walking spot. No, you're fine. But the fish you're fine. were really... Riverside Park. There was fish up here, flopping around and everything. Tammy Levy says the river is still rising. I brought my mom today to see it and it's even, it's coming up even higher. And the Los Lunas Open Space Unit is expecting it to get even higher. Because it's still snowing, it's going to be a lot worse. Part of the park's ATV course is eight feet underwater. <laughs> Deeper in close to the river, they're, they're probably about uh, maybe two, probably three feet. Duran says the large amount of overgrowth along the river isn't helping. It's pushing the water to the to the banks. Essentially trapping the water in Los Lunas, keeping it from flowing farther south. We're going to try to work with MRGCD and the feds to clear that area out. But in the meantime, they'll work on keeping people off of these trails and out of the unpredictable water. We know that uh, people get amazed by it, want to see it, and when that happens, bad things uh, occur from it. For what will likely be a long flood season. No, they're not going to be open anytime soon. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. They're hoping to have the trails back open in mid-June. The Open Space Unit is also coming up with a way to combat the mosquito invasion that will come with all of that standing water.